What up, Hard Squad? Today, we're opening more vintage packs. The catch, every pack is heavy once again. I'm talking about Sky Ridge. Base set, expedition, some first edition. Today's gonna be a lot of fun, but stop! If you enjoy this series and you want more heavy packs, well, I've been doing this as a sort of new series the past several weeks. And if you'd like to go watch them all, if you haven't already, I'll put a playlist in the description below. And additionally, today is an extra special day because we're opening this set, Sky Ridge. And these are not just regular Sky Ridge packs. These are heavy, which means there is a more than likely chance that in all of the packs, there could be a holographic or maybe even better, a Crystal Charizard card for the Sky Ridge packs. Now, like I mentioned before, I've been doing this the past several weeks and we've gotten some surprises. Some packs were heavy, but they didn't have a holographic on the inside. That's what makes it very fun. That is why I wanted to do an experiment for the world out there because I'll also be opening up these. Some Neo Genesis packs. Of course, there's some great cards in this set. Uh, these packs are special, but you will know why later on when I open them up. So what I'm gonna do is get into one of the first packs. But if you enjoy the series, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, join the Heart Squad, join the community. I'm doing these openings very, very often. As well as, of course, please consider leaving a like on the video. Let's get to 10,000 likes. I ask that even though I consider it kind of annoying, but I, it, it helps support the video. It also lets me know y you, what y'all enjoy me doing. So I appreciate y'all when you do leave a like. All right, let's get into the first pack. I want it to be a doozy. It's this one. Blastoise base set. Last weekend I did six heavy Blastoise packs. This time we're starting again with the one and only. You know the top cards from base set. I don't even need to say them anymore. So without further ado, I thank you for your patience. Shall we open up some vintage Pokemon packs? Now, it should be three cards, uh, the top two cards. Okay, so I think that's it, because you will be able to do a little energy. Ooh, is this a sign? It must be a sign if I say myself. Okay, Charmeleon Air. Energy Retrieval. Magikarp. Staryu. Machop. Ponyta. Coughing. Energy. Energy. And a Blastoise has been pulled in the Blastoise pack. All right, my friends, we gotta control ourselves here. Control ourselves. These. Packs have been producing bait, like virtually flawless holographic cards. This one looks flawless, unless there's factory lines, which I don't see. But look what I'm talking about. Look what I'm talking about. There's no any edge wear or whitening on this Blastoise. This is uh, like clearly a PSA 10. But uh, I'm putting this over here. Guys, I can't believe it. And we, we just started. That was just the first pack. All right, we got to calm down now. So how about we calm down with a little first edition jungle? It's one of my favorite sets. First edition jungle. Yes, you see the first edition stamp. Jolteon, any of the evolutions would be fantastic with this specific pack. You saw the pack weight for, and you will be for every single pack, you will see the approximate weight of it. So this one's interesting. 
It's just below 21 grams if I remember, but that should be more than enough for it to have a holo. But I've been surprised, like last week. A pack of base set weighed over 21 or right at 21. It didn't contain anything. So I was a little surprised there. Toros, Marowak, can we get a little Pikachu, please? Oddish, Bell Sprouts, Meowth, Pokeball, right? Okay, no Pikachu, and a Goldeen. The rare is a Pidgeot. You know, I am happy about this. This Pidgeot was one of my favorite holographics growing up, and the centering is perfect on this guy. All right, look at that. A little whitening at the top left. Nothing like a good old blue paint will get rid of it. No, I'm kidding. All right, so let's see if there's any factory lines. There's some edge wear on it, but just hollow bleed on the side. That's usually customary with these older types of cards, and at least I know from the, these, these packs, the first edition jungles, were from uh, the Pokemon employee that was on the channel recently uh, from his collection. But there we go, a first edition Pidgeot. All right, I guess the hollows are over here. What shall we open next? Oh, this is gonna be a fun set. I don't open this one much, but I've been trying to recently because it's a lot of fun and a fan favorite too. Neo Revelation. Shiny Gyarados, excuse me, Shining Gyarados, and Shining Magikarp. Uh, if you also saw an opening from two weeks ago, every pack was heavy. We pulled the best holographic from Neo Revelation. The Ho-Oh, Bird is the Word holographic was pulled from a Neo Revelation pack, and we have two today that we're opening up. Now, I think if I did the, the card trick correct, it was three. Uh, obviously, if I get it wrong, I'll just do it right for the next one. So, um, let us begin with a beautiful seeking. And excuse me if I sit here appreciating the art and illustration because I just don't open up Neo Revelation that often. Healing Field? That looks like a devil summoning area. G! G! Dude! Skip to my loom, my darling. How you doing? Shuckle, don't mess with Shuckle. Murkrow. Chin Chow. Star You. A Palm. And a Celebi holographic. No way. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, and it has, it's like the day of perfect centering today. Look at this beautiful hollow. No whitening. Oh man, for like maybe a little edge wear at the very top up here. Maybe we can get that off later, but seriously, look at that beauty. A Celebi, is that a clock in the back? Oh, that is, because he's time traveling. Oh, that's so nifty. Look at the clock in the back for Celebi. All right, thankfully, every pack has seen a hollow. Now it is time to open some gold. Golden Expedition Pack. This is one of the E-Series sets, which is the original base set for this set, which we're opening later, which I still can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Um, Expedition, uh, this is one of the most, you know, rarest sets for Wizards of the Coast. Uh, there's lots of amazing cards popping up on screen right now, like the Dragonite Mewtwo, uh, Mew. There's just gorgeous cards in this set. By the way, I should make an announcement. Evolving Skies, I will be opening up the newest Pokemon set here on the channel and late, sooner in this month. So definitely be sure to subscribe for that. Uh, should be just two cards. There's only nine cards in this set because of money issues. <laughs> at the time, but you will see a beautiful border on these cards. I used to dislike it. I love it. Just kidding. I've always loved it. Like this Poliwhirl. Claymation. All right. Let us begin. There's no crystals in Expedition, but you will find the illustration and artwork is some of the best. Spiro. Oh, see? 
Cubone is crying. There's a little flower right there. That's a sad card. I'm moving on. Oh, one of my favorites. The Magikarp. The never give up Magikarp. Or he's falling to his death. I don't really know what's happening exactly, but I love it a lot. Vulpix Claymation. The Gengar! No way! A Gengar holographic! Oh, man. I can't, I can't, I can't do this right now. All right, so wait. Don't look away. Because there's a Raichu reverse holographic rare. And, but wait, there's a Rapidash non-holographic rare. Oh my gosh. What a pack. What a pack indeed. So we have the Raichu, which is very nice. We've pulled it before. And then a card I had to be very careful with. Put this in a sleeve immediately. I can't believe it. We pulled the Desert Gengar. He ate, he up to no good, Desert Gengar. This is perfect centering. Unfortunately, there is some whitening at the top left, but let's just turn it back around and be happy about this guy. A Gengar holographic card. Well then, have we not done well? All right. Let's get into a special pack. Not Sky Ridge, this one. Rhyme Style, if you're watching, there he is. <laughs> and you like Lugia too. Uh, Neo Genesis. On screen, you will have seen the ways. Now, this is an experiment. This whack has. Whack. This pack, as you have seen, weighs only around 20.60 ish grams. Neo Genesis and some of the Neo sets are very, very funky when it comes to weight. There is a potential chance that compared to the others, because this one was heaviest, that this could have a hollow. So I wanted to make a little bit of a challenge and a experiment for all of us to watch. Will, for the question of the day, this Neo Genesis pack contain a holographic card do you say yes or do you say no let us know in the comment section below hey i'm a poet and i don't even know it all right let's get into it i ain't gonna do the card trick neo genesis from unlimited to first edition is just a really really interesting set but here we go will there be a hollow or will i just waste it oh by the way i didn't even say all of these packs i didn't sell these beforehand guys these are straight from my collection. I just want to keep on amping up the content and bring you incredibly uh, crazy openings that just make it that much more fun when they're your packs because the risk is on me and it makes it that crazier. Plus, you'll just see me lose a lot of money too. But it's fun. Always remember that. All right, Totodile. Poor C. Uh, and hopefully I, I don't skip the rare this time. I've done it before. Natu, how do you do? It's the best card. I'm happy now. It's like we may not even pull anything from this now, but we pulled one of my favorite Pokemon. Hopefully you at home also said Natu, how do you do? Centret. At some point, we'll come up to the rare. And will there be a hollow? Sudowoodoo, uncommon for it. Skip to my loo, my darling. Common Lantern, a time capsule is the non holographic rare, and then there's an energy. So, look at that. So, a uh, there's a novel on this card. I think Perfect Cell or Cell from Dragon Ball Z was born in that thing. All right, well, then that was disappointing, but you want to know it's not the following pack. Enter Sky Ridge! It's so shiny! No! Okay. We have to be serious here. This is my favorite set of all time. Originally released in the year 2003, the final set that Wizards of the Coast made for Pokemon. There are something called Crystal Pokemon cards in this set. The one I want to pull, because I've pulled some most of the others, a Crystal Charizard. I've never pulled a Crystal Charizard in my entire life. And I want one. If I'm gonna have a card like that, I have to pull it. You know, I can't buy it, I have to pull it. So, uh, this is your chance. This is our chance. And this is 
One of the most expensive packs in the entire world. A heavy pack goes for between $1,500 to like $2,500. The prices are kind of everywhere, but they're at least over $1,500 per pack. So making a little risk here. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so let's just get into this. This also incredible hollows, like just incredible holographics. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I love, love, love Sky Ridge. You will see the artwork is some of the most finest in the land. Let's just say it like that. All right, uh, Crystal Pokemon will also not be the final card if there is one. Usually it's uh, kind of before the hollow. Are we ready? Sit back, relax, and enjoy some Sky Ridge. Pineco, because this pack will be over before you know it. <laughs> Venonat! Shuckle, he's back at the Oasis. Diglett, I think there's Loch Ness Monster in the background. Next up is a Polyatone Holographic! Not bad, not bad! Well then again, these are heavy. But wait, there's a chance of getting a reverse holographic crystal Charizard with a Skarmory with the Nasteca lines behind it. Okay. And a Pile of Swine is the... Okay, so let's go through the rest. Fastball and a Ledian is the non-holographic rare. But you look at that out of all those cards. So this is say this is a still a very very fine card. Any holographic, even the comms and uncommons guys for Sky Ridge are very rare, especially in mint condition. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, thankfully, absolutely thankfully, this is in great, like almost perfect condition, which is good because if you want to grade it, then, you know you need to do that. We have officially reached the halfway point of today's opening. I will show you really, really quickly. Zeppos, really, really quickly. Look at that Gengar, Celebi, Pidgeot, and a Blastoise from base set in perfect condition. Well, you ready for round two? Don't forget to subscribe and place your calls. I'm calling it first edition Jolteon in the Flareon pack. Thought that would be appropriate. But here we go, first edition jungle. Lots of amazing cards in this set, but clearly we want one of the evolutions for evolving skies, you know? Uh, wait, yeah, just three cards with this one. So, oh, I can't believe we still got a whole nother round of this. Oh my gosh, Chandler. All right, Tauros, first edition. <gasps> no way, no way, no way. Oh my gosh, we just pulled one of the best, best misprint cards. A Butterfree with the first edition stamp. It's a D for Derek Zoolander. Oh my gosh. This is bigger than like even the hollow in the pack. Oh my gosh. D we didn't pull one. Wait, hold on. We didn't pull a Butterfree in the, in the previous one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought so. I thought so. Oh my gosh. You see that right there. Hopefully we can zoom in. If we can zoom in on that. There's a D on the first edition stamp. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. And that's a great condition too. Would you look at that? No whitening. Oh my gosh. What an opening and we didn't even open this thing yet. We didn't, oh man, I just, uh, I, I, I kind of think what I saw what's going to be the hollow, at least the type. So I'm just going to continue opening this and hopefully we pull another Butterfree, but I doubt we will. Bell Sprout. I'm happy now. Like, that's fantastic. Eggs Scrambled. Pokeball. Rhyhorn. Jiggly. And. Hey, wait! It's a Neto Queen! And a, oh, it's the Tauros that I had put it on. Oh my gosh, that was a surprise even to me. A first edition, call your boyfriends up, Nitto Queen. Oh, there's like something at the right over here. Oh, it came off. Yay! Guess that great special. 
Uh, I don't think there's any, there's hollow blade on the bottom and a little bit on the edges. That's okay though. They're older packs. They're older packs. Look at that Nitto Queen. Oh my gosh, that pack just held a, just a beautiful surprise. And oh my gosh. All right, let's get this pack out of the way. This pack, another Neo Genesis. Wait will have been on screen. It's another test, but just like last time, around 20.60 grams. Last time, didn't have something in it. So let's see if it not just doesn't have a hollow, but is it a trainer? Because those have seemed pretty heavy. Uh, there should be, well, I think if there's a hollow, it changes the spot where it is. But as we saw last time, there was an energy that we were allowed to switch around. I'll make a, I'll make a guess for the energy, a psychic. You can, at home, feel free to do that yourself. All right, double gus. Chuckle. But the thing is, these packs are heavier than the other packs, so they are heavy. But, didn't have a holo in the first one. Spinarak. Ledian. Clefairy. Fan P. I got to guess the energy wrong. And a... Magby! Show that baby is a heavy one. It's 47 pounds for a baby. That's a big one. So, fortunately in that one, we did not get anything. All right, let me show you this action-packed lineup. Look at that beautifulness. What should we open next? Okay, Neo Revelation. I want a Shining! I... Wait, is that the name of the movie that's with Jack Nicholas? And he's like... Yes, The Shining. And he's like... Went for, oh, gosh. Maybe that's where they came up with Shining Pokemon. Do, do, do. No, okay. Uh, what was it? I think it was three cards. Right? I think it was. Don't yell at me. Oh, look at that beautiful card. Team Rocket's Hideout. With Gengar. We pulled Gengar earlier. It's it's come full circle. All right. Balloon Berry. That's a big old berry. Healing Field. Poltergeist Field. Star You. Shuckle. Unknown. I'm, I'm so am not a fan of the unknown because a lot of them are rare and it makes you think you got nothing. Murkrow, but then you got nothing. Quillfish is pissed. Chin Chow. I feel like deja vu. Pettis. And a. No way! A non holographic. This can't be. This can't be. Why am I like not upset? Like that's a lot of money gone. I just don't care that much. Hopefully you really have been enjoying these types of videos because I surely have. All right, it's been a while. Base says is back. Can we get? Another one of the big three, because earlier we got a Blastoise. I named him Berry for the Balloon Berry. <laughs> In the hit HBO show, Berry. Which hopefully that comes back soon. It's a good show. All right, two cards. Wait, wait, sorry. Yeah. All right. Will there be a Charizard? Or will it be a Chansey? Because that's all I can pull. And Magneton. Because that's all Leanheart pulls. All right, War Turtle. Should we do a little guess the energy too? You at home can too. Uh, I'll do psychic and leaf. Let me know. Good choices. Uh, Michelle from Cleveland. <laughs> it's the best I can come up with. Machop. Wait, did I even guess? Yeah, I did. I said psychic and leaf. Abra. Energy removal. Poliwag. Wow, yellow cheeks Pikachu. It's okay, it's not really worth anything. 30,000 by December. Hey, oh, Psychic Energy! Patch on back! I got that right, right? Leaf Energy? No. Energy, energy! Oh, it's a nine tails! I thought it was a Charizard! But it's still... But still, a nine tails has been pulled. It's really, really bad centering on nine tails, but there's no whitening. There's no whining on this one. So a nine tails has been pulled, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad. I'll take it, I'll take it. Wow, 
and we're here. We have two packs remaining. Expedition and Skyridge. I'll save Skyridge for last. Let's go with Expedition. Pulled a beautiful Gengar. Can we pull Dragonite Mew Mewtwo now? Because Gengar was one of the top ones to pull. Uh, two cards, just has nine cards. Goes by pretty fast. <laughs> Mary, something about Mary's impulse. Bayleaf, that's cute. You don't see that one too often. Probably seen some stuff and things. Or, I didn't even mention, or can we pull Charizard? There's like th three Charizards in this set. Ponyta. Switch and a little wheezing in the background and lava effect. Caterpie's really seen some stuff. Or on some stuff. Are we at the rare already? I think we are. It is... A really creepy wheezing! Oh! But beautiful nonetheless. The reverse is a Metapod, psychedelic Metapod. And the non holo is it a Charizard? No, it's a really, really interesting Typhlosion. Wow, what a pack, what a pack. But it indeed was successful because it had a holographic card on the inside, a Weezing. And that's like, oh, I'm gonna use my strong arm. All right, wait, what is that? Oh, there's whitening on that one. All right, I'll take it. Weezing holographic from an expedition pack, not bad. Well, folks, we're here. The final pack, my favorite pack art with Bird is the Word. Now there is a crystal Bird is the Word in this set. Maybe we'll pull it. I've already pulled it on the video before. Frankly, I've pulled a lot of stuff on a video before, and hopefully you've seen it. That's why you should go check out the playlist in the description below. But here it is. Place your calls. Place your calls. Charizard, will we pull you? And if you for some reason want me to open up more Heavy Sky Ridge, leave a like and let me know in the comment section below. This pack has now been opened. It has now been opened to... Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, it's two cards, like that. Okay, I think that's how I do it. I don't know why I'm messing this up. Oh my gosh, all right. I'm nervous. What? I don't get nervous. These hands, these fingers have opened up first today. Okay. Oracle of Lord of the Rings. He's like, come here, come here. Let me tell you the a story of the mystery place. All right. Dunsparce. Not the most interesting card, but I'll give it to you. Slippery skin. Rhyhorn. Next up is... Swina. And a... Ursaring. Wow. Cover up Ursaring, please. And Hootie and the Blowfish. I felt like we should have reached the rare by now. But it's... What? No! There was the Ursaring, I think, was the rare. No, it wasn't. <gasps> Crobat is a non-holographic rare. Hyla Swine is the reverse rare, which is not bad. Oh my gosh. You saw the pack weight, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you just don't know what you're gonna get. Oh my, Pilus Wine is just a big boy. So there we go, folks. I don't think we can end it with this. More heavy Skyridge in the future. But in the meantime, check out those videos right now. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.